say hi to Dimitri. Hi, hi. Alright, get out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Game's about to start. Hi, Yeah, you want to say hi? Hi! This is yeah. Frankie. <laughs> Rome, come here. I'm going to give you a shout out. Can Hold you pop on. it up here? Yeah, I'll pull it up. Wait. Sorry, guys. I got sprint. I'm trying to get this up. <laughs> coach Nick is a goalkeeper coach, and he does uh, goalkeeper videos. So if you're a goalkeeper, if you want to watch some goalkeeper training you sessions, have a YouTube channel? go yeah, follow him. Off my back. Like Rome, the fans are waiting here. It's having an absolute nightmare, my friend. It's not loading. It's not loading. There's Dude, only four subscribers. We need more than that. All right. See Rome Goalkeeper Academy. Nick Roman. Follow He's only got four subscribers. He needs five to go public. So go follow him, my friend. Just help me get to seven so I can feel validated. <laughs> Let's have a little chat. Quick disclaimer. If you don't want to hear me talking for a few minutes, don't watch this video, mates. Coach Hobby's about to drop some knowledge on you. First of all, when I started this channel, I did not think we would be where we are right now. I didn't think we were gonna be anywhere near it. I wake up every day very grateful that I can share my ideas with all of you guys and that you guys can take those ideas, apply them to your training sessions, or just to your daily routine. This is gonna be the last video that is not a training session before we go back to work, my friends, before we go back to the university and start training with a college team. So I'm excited because when I go back, I can share different perspectives of all the other Division I coaches that I coach with. I can show you the daily life of a college coach and what I go through on a daily basis in terms of training sessions, matches, match preparation, film sessions, all that stuff. I'm gonna try and do my best to share it all with you guys. As you can tell by the title of this video, one of the biggest questions I get asked nowadays is, how do I get scouted? I already did a video on what I'm looking for when I scout players, but the big question or the million dollar question is, how do I actually get a coach to go out there to watch me so that I can get recruited to play in college? I'm gonna drop some truth on you, my friends. So think about it this way, you are a product. And the coach is the consumer or the buyer. You have to advertise yourself in a way that makes you much more appealing than everyone else out there on the market. By that I mean, you have to go and put in the work to put yourself out there to make yourself attractive so that coaches want you. First of all, you have to play at a good level, okay? You have to have to be a good player to play at a good level. Second of all, you have to bug these coaches and annoy them basically as much as you possibly can. What I mean by this is, if you're looking to go play in college, go and look at every university you possibly can, go and look at which ones stand out to you. On the athletics page, you will see the emails of all the coaches. You go in there and you email every single coach that you might be interested in playing for and you advertise yourself to these coaches. Now, how do you do that? There's a few different steps or a few different things that coaches are looking for. First of all, highlight video. Get as much highlight video as you possibly can. You can include training sessions, you can include individual training, 
but ultimately we do want to see you in a match so try and get a highlight video of as many games as you can all your best plays and make it attractive don't put the times you mess up don't put the boring in between stuff put every single time that you were involved that you made a difference that you think might appeal to a coach after you've made your highlight video make a resume just as if you're applying for a job you're gonna to need to make a soccer resume of your playing career and you're gonna email this along with your highlight video to the coaches. So, what are some things that you might wanna put in your resume? Put all of your soccer experience from when you started playing soccer up until your last soccer team that you played with. You put all your achievements, every single award that you've won with these teams and on top of that you put your individual achievements as well. How many goals you scored, how many clean sheets you kept, how many minutes you played for certain teams and very importantly, almost more important is you put your academics where you go to high school what your gpa is what your act is the reason i say academics might be more important is because if you have a very good gpa and your academics are good your act is good you can qualify for a lot of academic scholarship personal story coach javi went through all four years of my playing career fully on an academic scholarship i did not cost my coaches a single penny from their athletic scholarship which means they absolutely love me because they don't have to waste a single dollar on me throughout the four years. All that money that I saved them, they could use for another player. So if your academics are good, most coaches won't think about it twice. If you're a good player and you don't cost them a penny, you're getting recruited into that program. No problem. If your academics are bad, even if you're a good player, a coach might have to say, should I pay this much money for this player or should I get a player of the same ability who I don't have to pay for? Boom, who are they gonna choose? the player with better academics. So that is crucial, that is crucial. So, academics are important, right? Done your highlight video, you've made a soccer resume. When you write an email to these coaches, please, please do not write up a single template and send it to all the coaches. What I mean by this is, do not write, hello coach, blank. I am interested in playing for your university because you have a good soccer program. I would appreciate it if you watched my highlight video. Thank you. The reason I say don't do that is because coaches can tell when you made one template for a bunch of different universities, so they know that you're not exactly interested in their university, you're just trying to get your name out there to as many people as possible. Here is a better example of an email that you can write to a university. Dear Coach Javi, I am interested in playing for Coach Javi University because I noticed that you're graduating three forwards and I'm a center forward. So I think I can help you in that area. I also noticed that your record was 16 and four and you made a deep run in the postseason conference tournament. I believe that I can help improve that record with my abilities and I can do my part to help you get an even further run and possibly make it to the national championship next year. I also noticed that you offer physical education as one of your majors and that is a major that I would love to pursue. I like that it's a small town, it gives you a community feel and the class sizes are small as well. I feel that I would be a very, very good fit for your program. I am currently playing in the state tournament. Attached is also the schedule for my high school season or for my club team. I would love if you could go watch a match. That is a very good email because as a coach, I know that you went in there, you looked at my university's page, you did your research, and you are genuinely interested in playing for my university. That's an example of a good email. Now, you don't just email them once. If they do not reply, you email them again and you email them again and you keep showing your interest until I as a coach decide, all right, I'm interested in this person. They're obviously very interested in the program. I'm going to make an effort to go out there and to go watch them play in a live match. I get a lot of questions and a lot of messages saying, hey coach, who do you scout for? Can you come watch me play? It does not work like that, guys. I don't just come and watch random people play. I am a scout for my university and my university only. I go and watch players that I feel will be a good fit for our program. Be very professional, put in the work, email these coaches with your highlight video, your resume, your club schedule or your high school schedule, and put yourself out there to as many people as you possibly can. On top of that, attend as many ID camps as you can, as many college showcases, as many tryouts so that in the end you have a lot of coaches talking about you and then from there you might have a lot more doors opening up. So those are my thoughts on getting scouted. Last order of business. This channel again has been growing tremendously and I'm grateful for it. So I want to be able to give back in the future. I just want to share some thoughts that I have about the channel and I want to see your responses. So feel free to comment down below what you think. After my college season's over, potentially in the winter or in the coming summer, I would like to do a camp or do a variety of camps. 
So I would like to go to somewhere near you and I would like to do a camp based on the videos that you see and that you watch on my channel. So if you are interested in Coach Javi doing camps, comment that down below. Comment where you're from and if I can get enough people in a certain area, Coach Javi will go there and run a camp. Last thing guys, thank you very much for following the channel, for sticking with me through this summer and um, again, I'm excited because big things are happening and I get to show you the life of Coach Javi when he's actually working, when he's actually in his natural habitat back at the university. So if you want to watch vlogs of my day to day in the university, comment that down below. All right. Again, thank you guys. It's crazy. 10,000. 10 freaking thousand. We'll see you guys next time.